Last week I was flying home from Las Vegas and there was a hurricane coming up towards us through Baja. And this week there, I'm getting ready to go fly. There's a hurricane between me and Miami. And tonight Lionel Messi is taking on Nashville SC and I'm flying down there with two of my eight figure entrepreneur members, Joseph and that mustache, maybe there's three, <laughs> and Vaughn. Uh, we just got done our eight figure entrepreneur event and we're heading down to Miami, but there's literally a hurricane between us and that. So we're gonna find a way around it and we're heading to the airport now to see if we have a path to make it to Miami. My wife said, please be careful today. What do you think she means by that? Please yeah. be careful. You think she's- is, I'm gonna stress out and tell you that every time you're flying somewhere. No, you are, just... no, that's very unique today. Do you think it's the hurricane? <laughs> Possibly. There's a hurricane over Florida and we're flying right through it. All right, I'm here at the airport, Fayetteville, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. We got, I got the plane pre-flighted. I looked at the weather. It looks like the hurricane is starting to move up to the northeast a little bit. I think we can skirt just around it. So uh, we're gonna go. You guys up for it? I ain't skirt. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Walk out to the plane. Uh, I got the pre-flight done. I'm just gonna jump in and we're gonna fly down to uh, Miami and see a soccer game. I hope if uh, we hit the hurricane and we can't make it, we're gonna have to turn around and come back. Warning, okay. Stall. ICS, can you hear me? Can. All right, uh, let's see. ECS is on. This is to make sure. Oh, and there we go. Uh, cabin altitude, we're going up to 31,000 feet. We'll dial that in. Uh, altimeters I'll get in a second. Transponder is uh, 1,200. Initial altitude, we go up to like 9,500 feet out of here. Flight director is checked, autopilot master is coming on, airport diagram. Top feather, I'll get that check real quick. It's a good check, torque's down, props up. All right, so let's grab our plates here. Uh, 135, 275. All right, 984, I don't really need anything. 985 is what it looks like. Uh, we got wind. We'll take off runway two. 228. All right. Other, all that stuff looks good. Flaps are coming to take off. Uh, pedo heat's on. Trim looks good. Bleed air's on. Flaps set. Traps ice cast. All good. We'll get the amperage on the taxi. What are you guys doing in the back? You ready to go? Sir. All right. Are you all right? What's up? You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Gotcha. All right, parking brake's sticking a little bit. There we go. Traffic TVM 975, Charlie Alpha, taxi for the FBO to runway 2, safe. All right, let's push our flight plan to the panel. All right, we'll check the standby generator. That all works. Good check. Fable traffic TVM 975, Charlie Alpha, taking runway 2 for departure, Fable. Do I have to put my plane, my phone in airplane mode? Absolutely. Uh, no, you do not. That's ridiculous. Don't have to on the Southwest jet either. All right, everything looks good. I am going to run up the power. A little check here. That is working, we're on the go. Here we go. Running up the power for 100%. All right, 100% torque, couple birds on the runway, we missed them. 70 knots, 100%. Positive rates, no runway remaining, gears coming up. Bumpy. But up and right. Flaps are coming up. Here's up, flaps up. 
Lewisburg, Ellington, Citation, 33610, entering left downwind, runway 02, Look at that. Jolly, Lewisburg, Ellington. There it is, right there. Oh, we're going to miss it by a mile. <laughs> Yellow damper's on. Fayetteville traffic, TBM 975, Charlie Alpha, Alpha Department, the pattern to the southeast, Fayetteville. And Shovelville traffic, Star 583 acres, taking runway 36 for departure to the east, Shovelville. All right, gears up, flaps up. Everything looks good, we're climbing. And I pick up my clearance. Coleman traffic, Star 533, one kilo, turning onto a left crosswind of runway one, uh, two, Coleman traffic. CBM 975, Charlie Alpha, Huntsville, departure, you picking up IFR? A firm to uh, Lauderdale Executive. CBM 5, Charlie Alpha, Roger, Squawk 1541, just be advised, there was an edict time for you, it's only about, about five hours away, so I'll coordinate with TMU about what they want you to do. 1541, I, I missed that, I apologize. 1541, oh, they had a, uh, I can't leave until a certain time, which is five hours away. Go, we go, flight runway heading, maintain 3000, return this frequency. Number go. 5, Charlie Alpha, radar contact, 10 miles southeast of uh, Fayetteville Airport, on slot meters 2977, verify your altitude, just uh, stand by with your eye clear. 2977, passing 5900, 975, Charlie Alpha. Uh, I can find my way VFR, I think. Number 5, Charlie Alpha, due to that edict, they're saying if you, you're going to have to go out or below flight level 190, um, or they can't take you. Uh, that's fine, we can take lower. Uh, 190 is fine. 5, Charlie Alpha. Clear to Foxtrot X-ray Echo Airport as filed. Maintain 10,000. Expect flight level 190 in one zero minutes. I climb maintain 10,000. Expect flight level 190 after 10 minutes. And uh, clear to Foxtrot X-ray Echo 975. We're Foxtrot Alpha. Correction. Expect 17,000 one zero minutes after they said they need you out of the flight levels. Actually. Okay. 17,000 975. Uh, I knew it would be busy. I didn't think it would be that busy. We're gonna burn some fuel today, boys. Gonna take a uh, different route to get uh, there, a different no. airport. Or? I, I can't go higher than that anyway. Might as well go IFR. Number five, Charlie Alpha, contact Memphis Center one two eight point one five. One two eight one five five, Charlie Alpha. Memphis Center nine seven five, Charlie Alpha, passing eight thousand for ten thousand. Five, Charlie Alpha, give you the wrong frequency. Should be on Memphis one two zero point eight twenty point eight. Okay, twenty point eight five, Charlie Alpha two. Memphis Center nine seven five, Charlie Alpha, passing eight thousand four hundred for ten thousand. November 9 seven five Charlie Alpha Memphis Center climb and maintain one seven thousand Huntsville altimeter uh, two nine or seven eight uh, two nine seven eight climb maintain seventeen thousand one seven thousand nine seven five Charlie Alpha nine seven eight set twice seventeen thousand we're going up there yeah so it's whenever there's like hurricane like this and crazy stuff happening they put massive limitations on the traffic because everybody's going the same route like nobody can go through the hurricane. So everybody's going around, so it's like massive congestion. So they obviously didn't want us to take off for five hours from now. That's not going to work for us. So they didn't have to take me. Could have uh, said, you're not going IFR, so like, we can't handle you. Um, so what I need to do now is just look at our route, because I was going to go over some of this stuff. And so when we get down here uh, towards like Orlando, Miami, those areas, it, there's thunderstorms everywhere. We're just going to have to... Bob and weave, man. So, how it goes. 17,000 versus 31,000 is a massive fuel burn difference. So, the time for us to get there will probably be pretty close. But we'll probably spend another... I'll probably spend another $1,000 getting down there. Really? Yeah, fuel-wise. Uh, let me... I'll do the math real quick. So, we burn like 70 gallons instead of 50. So, 20, 40... Let's see. Maybe, maybe 400 bucks. Maybe only about $400. So oh, why why uh, why the difference? Uh, because when you get up higher, you, my fuel burn is a lot lower. So up at 31,000 feet, we'll burn like 50 gallons an hour. Down here, we'll be burning like 70 gallons an hour. So on a two-hour flight, there's an extra 40, 50 gallons difference. Um, it's just your engine way more efficient up high. Our true airspeed is also higher, which means we go faster down there. So our ground speed. So it's going to take us longer to get there down low, and it's also going to cost more money in fuel. This engine is more efficient the higher we go up. What is IFR? Uh, instrument flight rules. IFR equals instrument flight rules. So that means I'm, I'm on constant connection with ATC. If we went... Report on a 34 Echo Memphis Center, 2 plot, altimeter 2982. We could go VFR, which is visual flight rules, and I don't really have to talk to anybody, especially at 17,500. So 18,000 is the start of class alpha airspace. Everybody has to be on an IFR clearance up there. 
they're like, they don't want us in the flight levels. Did you hear him say that? We don't, they don't want you in the flight levels. So that's 180 up to forever, like 40,000, 41, 45,000, up where the, the jets fly. All right, we got about 3,000 feet to go. You can see we're, we're still burning 70 gallons an hour, um, and we won't get we won't get 310 in the true airspeed at this altitude. So it's see we'll see how it goes. Although the wind will be better here. The, we had a headwind up high, so probably cost us a little bit more. Maybe take us an extra 10 or 15 minutes. But better than waiting five hours. So if you wanted to fly up where you were planning on it, they were going to make you wait five hours. Yeah, if I wanted 31,000, I'd have to. They gave me a, a they gave me a time to take off that I didn't see. Might be in here. Oh, I got 19 notifications on this. Uh, I want to know when the protein powder is coming through. But we'll, we'll get there when I we'll level off here. We'll level off. We'll talk to Atlanta, and then it might be protein powder dessert time. This is beautiful. That's amazing. All those clouds like that. Atlanta Center 975, Charlie Alpha, flight level 190. Delta 815, I'm in now to maintain level 250. I'm typically doing over 300 on the ground speed. We should be doing about 320 up high here. Burning less fuel, doing about 320. Where are we currently at? Uh, about 280. At what altitude? No, ground speed. Uh, 280. We'd like to be doing about 40 knots more, maybe, yeah, probably about 40, 30 to 40. So that's 30 nautical miles per hour. So on a two hour flight, 60 extra miles. 61, 20, 240. So yeah, sure, 12 minutes of flight time, something like that. So it's take us about 12 minutes longer. We don't have a long climb either. We don't have to climb all day for an extra 12 minutes, so that helps. So really it's probably just fuel burn that we're dealing with, which is 70 to probably an extra 30, 40 gallons again. Flight time we're looking at right now? Uh, two hours, if we have no delay. It's all like, this This is like the rotation that, that happened. You see all these bands? This is all, all like early, like signs of the rotation from the hurricane. Because it's only, they were, it's probably like 40 miles that way edge of it. They're all just like bands of those right there, the outer bands. Spit off. Like up in that direction is where that uh, where the hurricane is. Yeah, it's like it's like there for maybe the center is probably like uh, 200 miles away. How far uh, are those big clouds over there, those tall ones that are popping up? Uh, probably like 60, 60, 70 miles. Okay, I got a cup here. So I got a cup, spoon. Delta 31 is coming to 97. That'll do. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. That a boy. That was delicious. Oh, doesn't it? It smells so good. So good. A little bit more, that'll do. Let's see how that does. Hold on a second. I might need a tiny bit more. So this is protein powder from cake protein powder you just put a little bit of water in there it looks like this it's like cookie dough and uh, Russell told me about this at my last event I ordered a 10 pound bag of it and I've been eating it every day since 22 grams of protein 3 grams of fat and 4 grams of carbohydrates for per scoop Here's the thing, I don't think I've ever had a protein powder that right, tastes like this. Now, I'm not convinced that it's not just, and, uh, <laughs> just sugar. <laughs> sugar. <laughs> it's just too good. Cookie you dough know, with the wrong nutrition facts, I will know when I'm like fat as a house. Because yeah. I've been eating like two or two servings a day. You did say that uh, those uh, that seatbelt was a little bit tighter. <laughs> A couple like mini chocolate okay, chips in here. Be like perfect. You know? They have other kinds like brown, like any any other flavors or just coffee crown? Oh, I think they have other ones, yeah. All right. Can you imagine if they had like brownie batter? Oh my goodness. You want something. You're jealous. I can tell. <laughs> you're like, where's my cup and my spoon, man? It's not there. This is a life, man. Number five, Charlie Alpha, contact Atlanta Center, 134.95. 134.95975, Charlie Alpha. Flying, chasing a hurricane, going to a Miami Nashville soccer game to watch Messi play my team, Nashville. Eating cookie dough. It's a life. So you can't beat this. 
cannot beat this. Hard to beat. Hard to beat. Who's going to win tonight? I don't know. I, obviously, I, I hope Nashville wins. We we tied 1-1 in the tournament, and they beat us in penalty kicks. A really good game. Uh, we came, fought back to uh, down 1-0. Messi scored the first goal. Tied 1-1. Uh, one of our good players, our, our center back, national team player, is not playing tonight. Kind of hits us hard. But I think it'll be a good game. I don't know, they're at home. And Nashville's coming off a, a whooping in Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta whooped us 4-0. Ugly. 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 We'll see what team shows up. We don't play that well on the road. Nashville plays a lot better at home. That's pretty good ground speed here. You're getting 11 knots at the tail. I thought we were going to get 11 knots ahead one, so it's not bad. Plus us a little bit more in fuel, but... that good, huh? Oh, dude, I would, li I would lick the cup. <laughs> like, it's Looks so like good. you're trying. But if I hit those pedals right now, it'll move the... Uh, yeah, look, I mean, you have to really, like... I got the all damper on, so you have to, like, do a lot of force on them. I mean, I've been eating a lot of protein. I'm uh, pretty strong now. Yep, well... Yeah, two scoops. Two scoops. I mean, you're not gonna like flip the plane over upside down or anything. Can we? Uh, yeah, we could maybe uh, one time. Wouldn't be able to sell it after that, but I could do it once. <laughs> it'll it'll keep a record of like everything, so it'll know that the plane's been upside down. Yep. Yep. I mean, if I never want to sell this thing, I could do whatever I want. Be doing loops on the YouTube channel and everything. You know, loops, aileron rolls. And it's more valuable. I could just buy a plane. That, yeah, well, <laughs> the plane right now. <laughs> you give me millions and millions of views with millions of dollars in ad revenue or something from a YouTube channel, I would consider it. But this plane is $3 million plane. You, I guarantee, uh, here's my guarantee to you, okay? If you do that, million subscribers. Oh, you're going to guarantee it? You know what a guarantee is, right? Yeah. If you are willing to write me a check for $3 million, I'll do it. I'll buy you another bag of protein powder. Uh, that's 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to cut it. Buy you two bags of protein powder. Protein powder for life. At scale, I might be interested. <laughs> Alright, so an hour and a half to go. we got even better tailwind now. That's great. So, so that knob just turned. Did you turn it or did it turn by itself? Oh, it's on automatic. So I got, I got it on... Uh, up here, I can, uh, where is it? Uh, oh, fuel selector in auto. Yeah. So it's, it's, I have a left tank and a right tank. So what it, what it does is it, it just flip, it pulls gas from each tank as it starts going down. So like our left tank, so it's on the left side. So our left tank a little bit heavier than the right. So it's gonna pull off the left. it will switch over and pull off the right. And it just goes back and forth. We just watched the movie, uh, Sully. Oh yeah. It's a good movie. Just keep looking for my, uh, where my safe water landing is going to be. Yeah, we don't need a water landing. We got some runway landings. Plenty of runways around here. How far can you, uh, how far can you cruise if the engine went out right now at 19,000 feet? Uh, probably like 10, about 10 miles. So right here, there's a nearest button. So we got, um, well, I should say like, we could probably go now like 35 miles. Probably about there. We could hit all those runways. This one, this one. All these ones. Oh, those are all runway. All those these, triangles. These, all these. No, the triangles aren't. But all the all the circles with the line on them. These are all runways. Runway, runway. Up this back here. Interesting. Why is one like a square and the other one a, a circle? And why are they different lines? Is it the direction of the direction runway? Direction of runway. Yep. So this is like a east-west runway, north-south runway. Uh, the color is like. Uh, if they got instrument clearances, non-instrument clearances, things like that. Bigger uh, class, class Charlie airspace, class uh, Echo, and so Delta Charlie airspace, Bravo. November uh, eight seven Sierra. Did you want to stay along your full route or take much. a turn direct to the Heaven Waypoint? We can do the shortcut if you got it. My direct to Heaven. November nine seven Sierra. Clear direct Heaven. Direct Heaven at this time. Nine seven sir. Hold up, I'm a little worried with uh, direct to heaven. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it better than the other way. <laughs> that is true. That is true. What does direct to heaven mean? Uh, direct to heaven. Heaven is a waypoint that they can fly to. 
Uh, all the waypoints are five letter identifiers. There's one in Pensacola called Inbred. <laughs> it's supposed to be Inboard, but everybody says Inbred. It's I N B R D. So Inboard for like Inboard Outboard. It's like a game of chess. That's what I always ask. Like, it's really like playing chess. You're thinking three moves ahead versus just making a move and then and then waiting, which I think is like the death of of decision making. See, so another thing. Most pilots wouldn't look to see what time of day it is right now. The the weather um, the like the we weather for each airport rolls through at 55 after the hour, somewhere between 52 and 58 after the hour. So if it's 4:56, if I go get the weather, two minutes later it's going to change. So I look at the, so it's like just these little steps that people are like. I'm going to grab the weather here at Lauderdale Executive. We might be too far away. I'm trying to get ahead. Yeah, we'd like to stay up at 14. Get now, so I know what what runway, what to ask for, what approach, all that stuff. So a little bit of weather here. All this yellow has gone green. That's nice. I think we're in good shape here. Nice. There's a little bit of weather over the airfield, though. That could be an issue. We should take an approach just in case. Are you cutting inlet where that where, uh, that pink line turns to white? Um, so right now we're going to the pink. Okay. When we when we when we hit that that one will this one will turn pink. Okay. Yeah, we go here. We turn right. So basically, this is our route here. We go right here. We fly over Lake Hapochi. Hikpachi. I don't know. Then we go here. We go here, and then we're coming around to land um, out of the pointed west. What's the difference between the pink line and the white line? Uh, it's an active. This is the active route right now. Yep. So this is a. This is what our 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 autopilot is flying right now. So it, it'll go. The next one will go active next. November nine seven five. Uh, our second. Uh, nine seven five Charlie Alpha. We're three thousand. We have Tango at Executive. Uh, like the visual two seven. Frontier thirteen sixty three. Turn right. Heading zero eight zero. Right zero eight zero frontier thirteen sixty three. Still inside five nine Fox J. Number nine nine five Sajula, Roger clear visual approach, runway two seven at executive. Clear visual two seven for Nine Fox Miami approach nine seven five Charlie Alpha. Just make sure you got my check in three thousand. We are on the gesture one. Number five Charlie Alpha, thank you. Turn left heading one one zero vectors visual approach runway two seven at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Left one one zero nine seven five Charlie Alpha. Number nine, Fox Charles, Juliet, contact executive tower one two zero point nine. What's this dude doing? Number nine, yeah, nine, sure. All right, one one zero. One two two, contact Miami approach one one nine or point four five. Good day. One nine four five. You have a good one now. Spirit one twenty two. It's crazy. What is all? All that looks like it is like controlled and set up and designed. Oh yeah, isn't it? It's Center like on one three five point one seven. That's what makes, makes, me, makes me really curious. Yeah, like all these fields yeah. right here. Well, you can see where it's all like drainage ditches. They're all filled with water, so I'm sure they're using for irrigation or something. Oh, it's wild. This is a pumping station right here. All this water around. It's wild. In Southwest 1262, you can expect some vectors for spacing. I maintain 8,000. I maintain 8,000. All right, got the visual. I'm on the headings. So that's good. 27. I don't know if they'll switch me to 1197, but let's put tower in 120.9. We got West Palm above us. We got Fort Lauderdale below us and Miami below that. This is a busy airspace right here. Focus Bo here, Pompano Beach. Maintain 1010,000. I maintain 1010,000, Frontier Flight 1363. Does that app stay on the whole time? Is it like so? Just like your plane on there? Uh, my plane just popped up because we got on the oh. we got on the approach plane. Four fifty-seven, one point seven, yeah. climb four thousand. Uh, when we get close, I have to get it on the plane. Fifty-seven, my departure to contact. I'm in ten five thousand. We take five thousand. Delta climb four fifty-seven. Eighteen miles out, I'll be keeping my eye out for the airport. All right, keep your eye out for the uh, stadium at the airport. So the stadium coming in on two seven, the stadium will will fly right over the stadium on final. So you guys should be able to see the stadium. So it's like attached to the executive airport right on the east side of the airport. So we should fly right over it. Approach 975 Charlie Alpha, got the executive airport in sight if it helps. 
Number five, Charlie Alpha, maintain uh, 2,000 until you're turning final. Clear visual approach runway 9 at executive, and use caution, Pompano Airport is also at your uh, 1 o'clock and about uh, 8 miles. Okay, maintain 2,000 until turning final. we got the Pompano Airport in sight as well. Clear for the visual 27 at executive, 975 Charlie Alpha. 2457, turn right heading 080, vector for space. Right turn heading 080, so 2457. I maintain 10,000 10, Southwest 1260. The airport I'm landing at. That's the airport uh, he doesn't want me to land at. Stadium is attached to that zero, one. Zero, Charlie, squawk 4325. Yeah, it's going to be four, like three, right, two, five, right at the end of that Southwest runway. I'll show you as we get closer, Alonso, I hope. Please. Left turn, direct Alonso, Southwest 1262. Thank you, sir. Thought I gave it to you. All right, below 200, the inertial separator's coming on. The landing lights on. Charlie Alpha, contact Executive Tower 120.9, good eight. All right, Charlie Alpha, switch to tower, see ya. Executive Tower 975, Charlie Alpha, with you on the visual, 27, full stop. Number 975, Charlie Alpha, Executive Tower Square, all turns reduced to your final approach speed, Cessna's on a mile final, runway 27, clear to land, the Cessna's indicating 70 knots across the ground. Okay, we'll square the turns, you got a Cessna on one mile, we'll uh, slow it back for him, and uh, number two for 275, Charlie Alpha. Mike Echo, no delay off the runway, traffic's inside a mile final now, contact ground. We'll take left on Bravo for Mike Echo's on the ground. Clear down, flaps landing, checklist complete. You wanted me to stay at 2,000 until f I'm going so slow. Is the slow down because of a Cessna? Yeah, he's, he, he's on the runway right now, I can see him. I wouldn't be going this slow this early. Gear down, flaps landing, checklist is complete. Breaking brake is checked off, confirmed off. So the the field should be like right there. Um, I don't see it. I think it might be that, one of those. Oh yeah, there it is, I see it. You see the grandstands? Uh, right there, yeah, it's yeah. the lifted thing. Yeah, with the practice fields on the right. That's cool. It, right there. All right, gear down, flaps landing, checklist complete. The only thing I got left is yaw damper. I got some wind, man. It's windy. Tower 5, Charlie Alpha, might have missed it. Just confirm we're clear land 27. Tower 5, Charlie Alpha, affirmative. 5, Charlie Alpha, Roger, clear land 27. Okay, got that on tape. Oh, man, you feel that wind? I feel like we're going sideways right we now. We are going sideways. I'm going to have to... jeez. Dang. Wow. Alright, here we go. I'm too young to die. Alright. Alright, oh man. Flink down right top rudder. Just fly this baby hint. Oh my god. Wind 2409 gust 20. Air speed. Oh! Greased it on! <laughs> oh, runway 27, make left traffic. I have 497, We're parking at Banyan. Number 5, Charlie Alpha, turn left, ground point 75, he'll get you to Banyan. Okay, left here on golf, and then over to ground, 5, Charlie Alpha. Alright, let's get off the runway. That's cool, you can see the stadium market right there. Okay, what is ground? Dang, that was some work, boy. 2175. Getting a progressive taxi is kind of like... Like a guy asking for directions. They tell you, turn right here, turn left here, like you're like a sucker. So, right on Echo, cross 1-3. Left on Bravo. All right, we're crossing one three. Make sure we don't screw anything up. Cross one three at Echo. Left on Bravo. Bravo two. All right, flaps are coming up. Here we are. Made it to Miami. You guys ready for the game? Let's do it. Sweet. I'm so excited. Messy Nashville. Here we come. <laughs> All right, we just landed here at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport, and. Um, the parking for my plane is probably closer than the parking if we drove to the stadium. So let me show you right here. So we just landed right here. Here's the plane. And there's the stadium. It's literally right on the other side of the airport. There's 
DRV Pink Stadium where Miami, Inner Miami plays. So we're gonna just get them, these guys here at Banyan Aviation, we're just gonna get them to drive us on the other side of the airport and drop us off. So, don't get any better than this. So the traffic was too bad to take the car over to the stadium because it's really bad, but we're taking the golf cart. So he's just gonna drive us through the airport in the golf cart and we're gonna make it to the stadium. But I'm here waiting for him to get the key. I wanna show you a couple planes here. Right here is a King Air 350, really nice plane. I love this plane. This would be amazing for my family in the future to get up really high, pressurized cabin, a ton of seats in the back, can really take a lot of people. It's an awesome plane. A Citation Sovereign, really nice jet too. This thing is beautiful. Like I would love one of these too. And then they got a Honda jet in here. These things are really cool. Become really popular lately. Um, lower cost, uh, small, like light jet. A single pilot, really cool plane. Uh, I think it's got four seats in the back. So I think it's only a six seater. I might be wrong, but uh, six to eight seats max. Really cool jet, really popular. This is uh, something that a lot of people um, are flying and buying these days. So log weight for those. So cool planes in here. I love this place. It's got a second, second row. Yeah. I was thinking, man. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought we were going to have to squeeze. <laughs> totally spoiled in Nashville at our stadium. This is crazy. It looks like they just like constructed this recently just to put some grandstands around uh, some grass. It's unbelievable. No, we're not lost. Vaughn is trying to screw me up. We're on track. We just want to spend some more time. Real men don't ask for directions. Okay. We spend some time sitting in I know exactly where I'm going. Enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, share it with somebody. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.